everybody welcome back to my channel welcome to all my new subscribers thank you for coming in today thank you so much and thank you everybody to all of your um, support and everything from the previous videos actually two previous videos but the last video I was talking about um, my sewing plans and how I'm gonna be incorporating um, some of the fit techniques and different things like that that I'm desiring to get more into in 2018 um, that I haven't focused on as much. There are certain things I have done, like the full bust adjustments, you all know, but several pieces I have shared that. Um, but this time, um, and it and this has been asked in previous videos, if I would show what um, some of the adjustments I've made, um, those will not be tutorials because again, I am still learning fit. I'm still wrapping my mind around some of the fit um, um, challenges that I might need to consider and do on a consistent basis. And so I will just show you what I do and I will give credit where I have learned it from um, or seen the technique from. Even if I don't show it um, point by point, I will at least try at some level to share that with you going forward. Um, and so, yeah, the best that I can. And so, uh, here we go. Now, today's video is all about um, uh, body shape. And so, as you all know, this um, this series will be in a separate playlist, but it's about my style aesthetic. And um, you all know that if you follow me in the previous video, you know that I go to a bi-monthly meeting, which is hosted and ran by Roz with So Much Fabric. I'll leave her handle here. And um, here in the Houston area, and so uh, that our meeting was April 9th. And so we had a little bit of a homework to do uh, for that uh, meeting. We needed to take our measurements, our high bust, our full bust, our waist, um, I'm looking at my notes, hips and shoulders. And so um, I was able to do, um, take all of those measurements and what it, the purpose of it was, the premise was to be able to know what kind of body shape um, it's not about body typing really, but body shape you might fall into. Um, hence then being able to choose patterns um, and pieces that more cater to your body, um, your body shape. And so for me, after my measurements were taken, <laughs> and if I can find the, um, the measurement guide that we use i will pop a picture up here but i just looked for it prior to recording i didn't find it but we i'll try again and i'll pop it up but so for me um at the time of this meeting my april 9th my high bust was 44 full bust 51 um waist at the time was 46 actually my waist is smaller now um by a couple inches yay um and then hip was 55 um and shoulder how did it says 52 and a half i can't remember i think that might might have been all the way all the way around okay don't quote me on the shoulder one but the shoulder measurement so based on those measurements i am more of a pear shape and in between i'm in between an hourglass and a pear shape however i'm more of a pear shape because of my smaller shoulders um shoulder area smaller up top and then of course my waist uh goes in and then my hips and so um yeah and so those are my measurements and what we were supposed to bring to the class was a special occasion um uh garment or piece we would make and a casual piece and so i'll share with you what i brought i took with me my um, two pieces for um, my anniversary collection that I'm working on. You all know I am working on that. I will leave a link up above so you can see what my full plans are. <clears throat> and then once we share that, then as a group uh, and Roz, you know, would facilitate um, and give each other feedback on the pattern that we chose uh, would we choose that pattern normally or maybe some things you need to consider if you are going to stick with the pattern that you chose if by for whatever reason may not necessarily fit your body shape and so um, here is one that I, I picked this was my casual one um, 
because yes, um, this is not the main, my special occasion one, but this is uh, Vogue 9253. And so um, this here was good. The feedback that I received, it was a very good pattern. Of course, I will be taking into consideration the low V because I will not be doing that. And thank you to the subscriber who suggested a modesty panel. I had not considered that. I was just going to raise it up. But I did um, just get some muslin recently that I'm just, I'm going to play with this bodice. Try it a couple different ways um, before I do the actual. Um, but the reason this here is a good one for my body shape, and let me show the line drawings, is because it does have, I'm trying to look here. Hopefully you can see this. Um, if you can see, it has the tie around the waist, which will bring in the waist area a little bit. For my shoulders, because I do have narrow shoulders, the way this drapes and comes down, it will be, um, should be very flattering um, on me. And um, the length, for me, it didn't, we didn't necessarily talk about the length. For me, because of my um, body shape and being smaller up at top and then the smaller waist and then the hips. And then also for me, remember I said in my previous video, I have to also consider the extra tummy, like the little uh, tire around the middle um, to take in consideration that this will be very flattering on. And so I am excited about uh, muzzling that up a couple different ways. And I'll, I'll, I'll be sharing the muslins with you. You'll see the final ones um, after the vacation. And then the other is this piece. This was my special occasion. I shared this, that I will be wearing this. I'm doing, uh, well, it's the same thing. One is a contrast. Use the contrast fabric. But um, at any rate. Um, let me show you the line drawing is better to show you the thing that they told me to make sure that I consider because I am fuller bust the area around here and that I definitely want to make sure I wear a belt that um, cinches things in around the waist and it doesn't look so uh, voluminous at t up top because I am more full busted and so um, I do plan to muslin just the top of this just to see how I want that fit um, to be. And if I wanna take it in a little bit and then let it come out a little bit, we shall see, I don't know. But it was, um, it, it was, it was it was a very good learning experience and I enjoyed it so much. And so I did share before on my move board. Now tell me in the comments if you would be interested in me sharing some of my um, patterns that I do have. They're indie and commercial, the big four that um, for me that I find has been good for plus size. If you would like for me to share that, I will most certainly do a separate video on that. Just let me know. But if you all remember, I've shared my um, my board, my mood board. This dress here is from Pinterest, and that is why I chose this pattern because this that is it. <laughs> um, and so um, yeah, so going forward, um, if you all follow me on Instagram, you know I posted this picture yesterday or no, yeah, yesterday Friday. And I talked about how I liked the way it fit. I had closed the bottom of the, um, I, had, I was wearing a Lisbon cardigan in the M6886. And I said, you know, let me close the bottom. First time I ever did that looks so much better on me because of my waist, it accentuated my waist. And, um, and, uh, and I liked the way the bottom of the dress went out. And so things on my mood board, I have to admit I have not even began really getting into sewing. Um, I don't know why. I, I I have no explanation for that. But if we just take a look, see this here, look here, that dress with the little cardigan. And wouldn't that be so cute? And look how she has this, oops, I'm not pointing to the right thing, no. See how she has this cardigan with the pants and all, oh, I love these looks love 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 all of these looks and so i um that's why i've kind of switched gears with my sewing plans to really focus on fit and really dive into my mood board um i don't i don't know why it 
it just hadn't been registering with me to do that. <laughs> um, I've been making things like wrap dresses. I'm absolutely loving wrap dresses and I think they are very flattering on me. However, some of my, my other wrap dresses, my sew over it, the Eve dress, I will have to, um, those eventually will be either donated or something to that effect because they are getting the one, the blue one really is just getting way too, it's too much fabric. It's just weight is getting big on me um, because I am losing inches and because the way I lose weight is baggy. It's getting a little baggy up here and you can only go over so much. And so um, for me, there will be another closet <laughs> clean out and me focusing, tailoring the rest of this year, more my, my plans for the month, more on the fit more on the actual pieces and looking and reminding myself looking at the mood board that said yeah everything I pick I'm not a big things have to be tight around my waist and all of that I'm not looking for that but I do like it to be more um, skimming and more form-fitting around the waist area and um, and the way it drapes and the way it sits and then um, for my hips and all of that so that is the direction I will be going um, towards in the future and so I do highly recommend um, it doesn't necessarily matter what your size is but for my um, plus size ladies out there that might resonate with a little bit of what I'm saying um, do take your measurements and see you know what is smaller what are your smaller areas if you're more straight up and down do you need to do something that might give you a little bit more of a waist even if it doesn't um, necessarily a measurements appear that you have we all have a waist right but some people's waist is smaller than others and so yeah those are um yeah I'm and I'm excited still about all the items that I chose for my um uh for my anniversary collection so that is it that's what I wanted to share today again a little bit of a different video like I said I think I promised in the first one that I will come in every after every other month we've done our class with what we are um, working on and maybe just share some things that you guys might benefit from. And so um, our next homework assignment, because we're supposed to meet again June 9th. Yes, um, our next assignment is we need to um, starting our wardrobe plan using our board and body shape type. And so um, I have to do a closet cleanse. Um, look for things that are dated and don't fit anymore. Clean that out. Uh, what's classic? Um, think about some classic pieces I need to get in there. Classic white cream, um, beige button down, button up shirt, a jean jacket. These are classic pieces. The classic white button up, the jean jacket, nice slacks, a sheath dress, um, A line for me, um, and jeans. And you all know these are, well, the jeans are on my, the jeans and the slacks are on my Mac 9. So I'll be making those anyway. And I do have a nice uh, sheet, a, a different sheath dress pattern I want to try um, that I already own. And then our final uh, assignment is to get out our calendar and plan our next six months and create a binder of when and what you need and when you need it by. So I have done that. Um, I don't, ha it's not necessarily in a binder. I'm a big spreadsheet person. Maybe that's just what I do. <laughs> but I like to see everything and I carry it with me because I'm not going to carry a binder with me. But sometimes um, I might get an idea or something. I'll write it in my spreadsheet. Everything is kind of written out my plans for the next several months. And I have a little notebook that I carry. You all saw that in my purse as well. And so that has my plans for the rest of the year. Um, maybe at least through November. Yeah, I would say the rest of the year. Let's just say the rest of the year. And so those are the things I need. I will be focusing on. So um, yeah, I'm very excited about really just changing my mindset and my focus. It's taken me a while to get there. I don't know why. Part of it probably is because feeling overwhelmed a little bit with the adjustments that I need to make. But you all know I came across a big hurdle with the Caroline pajamas that, you know what, don't force fit that and I'm taking that term from one of my subscribers force fitting and doing adjustments 
for a garment to fit are two different things. And so I will not be force fitting. Um, there are adjustments I'll have to make to patterns and different things of that nature, but no force fitting. So, okay, everybody, I think that's it. If you all enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave your comments or thoughts below, um, any ideas. If you would like to see um, anything in particular in regards to some of the uh, garment pieces that I'll be making from my mood board, please let me know. Um, and yeah, we will see you in the next video. You all have a blessed, blessed week.